Hey people of YouTube, today we're going to be making a very easy pizza dough. So for now, I put in first ingredient, three cups, depends on how big a pizza you want to make, this this will make a large, like a more than a 12 inch there, but uh, around 12 inch we'll say. I put three cups of flour, and uh, we're going to add all the dry ingredients like uh, half a teaspoon of salt. I use also um, here the quick rise Fleshman's uh, yeast. With this yeast you can just add it right into the flour and you don't have to proof it first. So I'm gonna start and I'll show you the rest. Okay, so now I've added one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of yeast, uh, sorry, half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of yeast, and one teaspoon of sugar. The sugar will help activate the yeast. Now all that's left is uh, mix the dry ingredients together, add in uh, water and a little bit of oil. The oil I don't think is necessary but I added, I've seen it in other recipes where they add it in. I'm not really sure what it does different. So that's one and a cup, one and a quarter cups of water. So what we'll do is we'll just mix in the, the dry ingredients all together there. Just make sure it's all really mixed. So all the yeast is mixed in with the flour. So I make a little well in the middle there. And just get the water. Okay, so we got all that mixed. Now we got one and a quarter cups of water here. Sorry it's really dark. Uh, my kitchen has shitty lighting. One and a quarter cups of water. And you can use olive oil or um, I'm using vegetable oil because that's what I have. And now it's just mixing it with it whichever way you want. Sorry, I can't do this with one hand. I'm trying to film with my phone. Just a minute. Okay, so now it's mixed, but it's uh, very sticky. So what I do. Add in just a pinch of flour on the top, around the bowl, whatever. And you can start working it inside the bowl. And not enough. Boy, this is really hard with one hand. I can't put my phone down because it won't point in the right direction. So now you knead it up a bit it's nice and you don't feel flour. I do it directly in my bowl. After you're finished kneading it, cover it up with uh, either a saran wrap or a towel and leave it there for about I don't know, half an hour, 45 minutes, an hour. The longer you leave it, the more it's going to swell up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to knead it. And uh, you'll, I'll, show, I'll show you after I'm finished kneading it. And then I'll show you after the hour to show you what it looks like. So now my ball has been kneaded. I only did it about like five minutes. You can feel the texture and... I just sprinkle a little flour on it every time it gets too sticky, like just a little bit. And uh, instead of putting oil in my bowl while it rises, I just sprinkle flour on the bottom of the bowl and sprinkle flour on the top. And you see the ball compared to my hand. Geez, I look like I have black hands. Um, 
I don't know, it's about, uh, about the size of a softball. And, uh, I'm going to let it rise and you'll see what it looks like once it's risen. But I'm telling you, this, this pizza dough, the cr I don't even, you, I don't dirty a table. I don't dirty, uh, I just dirty a bowl. Um, even to roll it out. I don't even roll it out. I just punch it in and you'll see. Anyway, uh. We're gonna let it rise, half an hour, an hour, whatever. Whenever you're ready, you. I mean, you can make these in advance and then stick them in the freezer, or, and let them rise the next day. Or not the next day, but whenever you're, you just take them out of the freezer, put them into a bowl or a zip, big big Ziploc bag. Oil your bag first, spray it, whatever. Um, stick the, the pizza dough there and let it rise for. For the day there it'll be frozen anyway i mean you're going to work anyway so we'll let it rise and i'll show you what it looks like so i have my pizza dough waiting for it to double in size here i got more light i want to see the size difference this is a hand the size of a softball So you just cover it. I double cover it. I don't know why. There we go. Let that rise. It's only been 10 minutes. Stir our noodles. Okay, so it's been about an hour and a half. And we're going to check on our dough. really gotten bigger now it's not the size of a golf ball anymore now it's this. okay let me figure out how I'm gonna be able to film this so you can see but at the same time oh geez how am I gonna do this yeah just give me a minute just picked it up and like stretched it in my hands and it's really soft so it really this is like a what is it a 12 I think it's a 12 inch pan but uh, it even makes too much you can make even a, a jumbo uh. so now the rest is up to you add sauce Add cheese, pepperonis, uh, whatever you want, uh, sausage, uh, vegetables. If you're a vegetarian, you can just fill it up with vegetables and cover it up with cheese. Do vegetarians eat cheese? Because cheese is made with milk. Milk is made from cows. Anyway, you, you do what you want with it. Um, I'm going to dress it up and... I'll get back to you because I can't hold my cell phone at the same time as I do my work. I'm sorry. The sauce is on. You're going to see once it starts cooking there, the crust is going to be so filled. The other day I made a roast. Since this is going to be like a lot more for my dogs than me, because I'm not much of a big meat eater. Um, I made a roast the other day because it was really cheap at the store. And I've been giving that to my dog who's allergic to grains. See, oh, you can't really see him, but he's scratching like crazy all the time. And we're going to put this on. Okay, so now I, I covered it with the roast, with the pork roast. But like I said, you can put anything you want on pizza. I mean, it's not like uh, you got to do what I do. The only reason I made this is pretty much to show you how easy it is to make the dough. And I want to show you what the dough is going to look like once it comes out of the oven. But since I'm not that rich and I only have, like I got no money. <laughs> so I basically, I didn't have money to buy mozzarella cheese. So what I did was I bought the Kraft slices of fake mozzarella plastic cheese there. <laughs> so what I do is, I don't want it to burn my plastic cheese. So what I do is I cook this 
before and when it's at 90% cooked then I put the cheese on and I'll show you that once I'm at that stage right now the oven is uh, oh, I didn't even turn it on I'm an idiot I turned on the temperature but I didn't turn this thing to on so give me uh, what is it 10 minutes before it'll reach the 300 and I put it at 350 So we'll see that. Won't be long. So while I'm waiting for my oven to heat up, I'm going to give a little bit of uh, spaghetti to my allergy dog. Not you. Go away. You're going to get some later. No? It's good. All right. He loves his spaghetti. Nom -a noms. Makes a lot of noise when he eats. Makes piggy noises. Mr. Jealous there. I was like, what about me? You can eat anything. You're lucky. I fed you before. But you're going to get some pizza, spaghetti, and everything too. It's just right now I'm giving him some. You're going to have to wait, even if you were there first. Well, he's pissed. <laughs> he's not happy at all. Sorry, Chico. He didn't even leave you a noodle. Hey? He didn't even leave you a noodle. Won't be long. Okay, there's two ways that I uh, that I do my pizza pan. It's either, I got a couple of different kinds. This one is a really thick aluminum pan. So what I do is I put my grill completely at the bottom. And... Uh, so I want it to be like a crusty underneath, but it, it doesn't burn it because I'm not really that high. 325. And uh, so that's what it looks like now. That's how swell it is. Let's put this in. Can't really see anything because I don't have a light in there. And I'll show you once it gets out. So it's been about a half hour. And for me, it's cooked enough, even though I think I cook it a bit too much, because well, I guess the cheese won't brown, but it'll melt. But, uh, I mean, the crust on this is, like, it depends if you like a lot of crust or if you like, uh, I mean, this is a thing, this is, this is almost an entire, ouch. You got the... I added oil underneath, so it's going to be like really, really crusty. Anyway, I'll, I'll put my cheese on. With the magic of internet, my cheese is on. And you can see the square craft uh, singles mozzarella stuff, but that's what I got. But it's even better if you use like real mozzarella and bacon and onions and but look you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven slices. But I mean that's that's like a five pound pizza already, you know. It's I guess the pan's heavy too. Anyway, I'm gonna put it back in the oven for like five minutes. And we'll look at it then. So just out of the oven, just enough to brown. I mean, this isn't real mozzarella. What happens is it burns. I don't want that. It turns into plastic. But uh, nice hard crust. I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna wait a bit because it's really hot. I'm gonna. 
I'm going to cut it and show you the inside and how crusty it is. Okay, so I let the pizza cool down a bit and I, uh, I cut it right away. And uh, just to show you what it looks like. This is like for somebody who wants to eat a good thick crust pizza. Underneath, it's golden. It's not, it's not burnt. The crusts. I mean, compare it to a finger. That's that's a thick crust. Let's say we. crusty on the outside but super moist on the inside I know they like it the other ones over there in the black anyway it's up to you nobody's forcing you but uh, for the dough it cost you like a dollar not even a whole pizza probably cost you about a dollar when you make Make what you want. You spend what you want. But the dough is, uh, what, 25, 50 cents of flour, uh, 50 cents of yeast. I mean, if you buy it in the packets, you don't even need a whole packet. It's just like one teaspoon, one round, one spoon that you use to stir your tea. <laughs> fill, fill it up even and throw it in your flour. Add the hot water and uh, knead it, let it rise. I use the quick rising yeast. That one you put right into the wa right into the flour. The other one you have to proof it first in water. But I prefer this one for this kind of stuff. And I've used this bread to make like cinnamon buns, uh, the French bread. It's the same, I find it's all the same thing. And I like it crusty on the outside, and nice and soft on the inside. Anyway, now I'm going to prepare the pizza getty. Uh, so we're going to make the spaghetti. Here's my sauce that I made that's going to go on top of it. Because I'm filming with my phone, so I don't know how well the... The video is plus I also have bad lighting lucky my fan has a good uh, lighting you got your Walmart spaghetti I guess great value <laughs> yeah anything for a buck but my dogs love pasta of course I think all dogs love oh, this crazy dog running after his tail he's funny he loves his tail your tail Tail. Wind him up, and there he goes. Oh. So now we got our pasta boiling. We have our shit, can't see anything. We have our sauce in the microwave, and I have my oh, stove. It's only been like 10 minutes anyway, so. A towel over it. So, my noodles are ready. I rinsed them off in cold water because I don't need them hot right now because I still have to make my pizza. But by rinsing them off in the cold water, it stops their cooking and stops them from being all starchy and stuck together and overcooked because it's still really hot in the middle. But, uh,. Now they're not, you know, they're not uh, sticky or anything. They're they're cooler, but doesn't matter. We're gonna heat that up after. Still got another. I don't know. I figure I'm not gonna be eating for another hour because I still have to make the pizza. So in the meantime, I'm gonna let this drain drain the water all out of it. I added a bit of 
oil into the bottom of my pan so I can stick the noodles in there, mix it all up, keep them from sticking together even more. And uh, sometimes I add a bit of garlic, garlic powder, mix it in with the spaghetti, give it even better taste, salt, pepper, whatever you want to do. It's up to you. The sauce pretty much has all that in it anyway, but uh, you never have too much garlic. Unless you're... I, okay, I, I have no girlfriend or anything, so I can have bad breath. Doesn't matter. My dogs like my garlic breath. Anyway, next. Get on to whatever... I know the spaghetti's done, so what do we have to do? We're waiting for the... Waiting for the pizza dough. Should have started earlier, but it's still early. It's not even... Uh, it's like 6.30 at night. And I normally eat like at 10 o'clock at night. It's not me who's in a hurry. It's them. Them. I put a piece of spaghetti on the ground. That's all they're looking for. Yes, spaghetti. Spaghetti. Chico. doesn't like it, there's no sauce on it. Oh, I'll leave it if that's all there is. Nope, you'll leave it for the other one. You just can't see anything in this house, man. Shitty lighting. But I like the shitty lighting because you can't see how dirty it is. <laughs> I mean, it's like little Christmas tree lights on this thing. So that's it. The spaghetti is all mixed up with the sauce, but I made so much pasta, a 900 gram bag, and I even have some on the side to put in the fridge for tomorrow without sauce. So it looks like there's not much sauce on it. Plus I kept a bit of sauce to put on my pizza. But uh, I don't care, the dogs don't care. If you make spaghetti, I mean, you do it the way you want, you can add more sauce. Uh, that's it. Next, we're gonna finish our pizza. 